Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to download Quatrus 18.1. Let's dive into it. So first you have to search up Quatrus 2. Then you have to click on this, Quatrus 2 Web Edition Software. Then when you come on this page, select 18.1 and make sure that you're selecting the computer you're using, Windows or Linux. It has to be on lead. I'm gonna download the lead one. When you come here, you have to click on the individual files. When you come here, you have to make sure that you're downloading Quatrus Prime, this one. So click on download. I agree. So you have to sign in. I have the account, so I'm gonna sign in. If you don't have an account, you have to make an account. So to make an account, you have to click on here. Register now for individual account, okay? When you click on that, it's gonna ask you for some personal information. You have to give your name, give your school email address, username, anyone you wanna choose, your country, your job function, and the phone number. Then they're gonna ask some enrollment question. It's not gonna be that hard for you. After you sign up, you have to sign in. After signing in, I have to uh, select the addition to lead and my release is 18.1. It's on Windows. I'm gonna download it for my Windows and click on individual files. Then you have to click on the Quatrus Prime this one, so click on download, I agree. As I signed in, therefore it's gonna automatically download it to my computer. Where, wherever you're gonna put, put your file to select the destination, it could be your desktop or documents. Then click saved. So uh, I down, I'm downloading this one, so you have to make sure you, you have to also download the model sim. So click on the download here, again click I agree again. I'm gonna save it to my desktop. So click desktop, save. The next thing you have to download is, this is a support device. So for the support device, make sure you download the Max 10 FPGA device support and click on download here. I agree. That's it for uh, Quattro's 18.1 lead edition. So this, uh, this is what you have to do and make sure it's on Quattro's Prime Lead Edition free so you don't have to pay for that. After it downloads, it happens. Uh, by the meantime, it's downloading. I'm gonna, uh, let's talk about something here. So it's saying if you must install device support for at least one device family to use the Quattro's. I selected this Max 10 FPGA device support, but as part of your course or as part of your need, you could download any family device you want. Like you could download the Arira 2 device support, Cyclone IV, Cyclone 10, Cyclone V device, anyone you need. But if you download all the device family, when you download the uh, software, you could just select any family you want. You could download all the families, but for my software, I only need Max 10 FPGA device support. That's why I only downloaded this one. Always make sure when you are uh, downloading any Quattro software, you have to make an account. So first, if you don't have an account, you have to sign up as I showed how to sign up uh, for this Quattro. And you also have to uh, sign in when you are downloading your software. Always make sure any Quattro's version or edition you're downloading, it has to be on Quattro's. When you download this Quattro's Prime, you have to make sure you're downloading the model sim. It's for any edition. And you have to select a device, which is the family device. You have to select one of the family device. So for example, if I want to download 13.1, so when you select on that, it's gonna bring you here. So you have to uh, select your operating system is Windows or Linux, any one you have. I'm gonna download it from my Windows, that's why I selected Windows. Or um, so uh, then after selecting Windows, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna click on individual files, individual files here. 
And then you have to make sure it's on the free edition. It's free. You don't have to pay. And Quattro is too softer. When you click on that, it's going to say you to sign in. When you sign in, you click I agree and you just install it. Any version it is, uh, as I said, you have to make sure you have to click on, you have to install the model sim, model sim edition, and then you have to select any of the family device you're gonna use, download any of the, it could be Cyclone 2, 3, 5, anyone. You could just download one of those. So I'm done downloading all my files. When I go here, it's saved on my desktop. I have to make sure that I'm clicking on the Quadras lead, right click on it. When you right click, you have to click on run as administrator. When you click on run on administrator, it's gonna load for a few minutes. This page is gonna load when you click on yes. And then you have to click on next, it's saying welcome. Then uh, after, if you wanna read, you can read those agreements or instead of reading, you could give, I accept the agreements. Click next. And then make sure the directory is Intel FPGA lead. It's gonna be there, so you don't have to change anything. Just click next. So right here, remember we uh, installed the family device. So when you come here, you have to make sure that you're clicking the model SIM. It has to be right uh, here. You have to select it and the family device max 10 FPGA. Select that and then click next. Next. So now uh, it's gonna set up installs Quadras Prime Lead Edition. It's gonna take like half an hour to install it, or it can take less in your computer. So it's gonna install right now. After it's done installing, I'm gonna show you guys what happens. Now is unpacking uh, the files. So it's slowly unpacking the files right now. It's almost done. So there's going to be another button that's going to pop up. So it's going to install. It's for the model sim. After downloading it, it's going to come here. So you have to click on, it says uh, launch USB uh, create shortcuts. Uh, that's it. Then you have to click finish. When this one comes up, it says welcome. Then you have to click next. Drivers are installing. So you have to wait for the driver to install. So when this one comes up, click on install. Then click finish. It was very quick. So it's going to pop up here on my desktop, as you can see. So double click on it. Don't click on the buy a Quartus Prime software license. Just click on the run the Quartus Prime software. Okay. So after downloading, doing everything, this is going to pop up. What you have to do is to make a new project, click on new project wizard. Then you have to click next. When you come on this page, directory name and top level entity, what you have to do is here, what is the working directory? You have to make sure to leave it like that. And you have to choose a name for the file. Uh, for example, AS. So this is the, my file name. Just, uh, this is just an example. Click next then it has to be an empty project or if you want a template you could click on the project template click next then uh, you don't have to do anything here just click next so after you come here i was waiting for this so like after you come here remember we install a support device i told you guys it's a family device so what you have to do is select your family device so i installed only one family device. This way, when I clicked on the, on the drop down button, I just got this uh, one family device because I just installed one. So if you would download more than one family device, you would get more than one. So you could just select like any family device you want. I'm going to select this. Then uh, you could specify specify device selection uh, device available. So you could specify among this file you have here. 
like right here. So any any device, for example, if I choose this, choose this, you just click next and then click finish and it's gonna give you the project um, display. Then this is gonna come. So you when you come here, don't be uh, nervous, like where to go, like what to do about it. So you just have to click on file, click on new, then you have to click on blog diagram schematic file. Okay. When you click on that, this is gonna pop up. So you could make your project, make any uh, circuit diagrams you want and just save it. And this is how you download Quattrus 18.1. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, please give a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel for further useful videos. Thank you.